Reading Pioneers is proud to present I Have a Friend, written by Alex Harrison, illustrated by Ferlina Gunawan. My dad and I are working on a special project today. We set up in the garage because outside is cold and gray. We have fabric and string. We have sticks, paint, and glue. We are building a kite. The last step is to paint it blue. The next sunny day, we take the kite to the park. I pass by a new seesaw. It is shaped like a shark. My mission today, with my family cheering me on, is to fly my homemade kite. I take a spot on the lawn. The wind starts to blow. I let the line out a bit. My kite is flying so high now. I can't believe it. While I admire my kite, I hear my dad yell at me. Watch out, Max, he calls as my kite hits a tree. The string is tangled and I can't pull my kite down. Then someone softly says my name. So I turn around. It's Martha from school, holding tight to her kite in the sky. I try holding back my tears, but I break down and cry. Don't cry, Max, she says. I will let you fly mine. Her smile is wide and her eyes bright like sunshine. Half of her face is covered with a large birthmark. She says, I saw the new seesaw that looks like a shark. Martha is so kind. She doesn't want me to be sad. I wipe away my tears. Now, I don't feel so bad. The rest of the day together, we have so much fun. We fly her kite, laugh, and play until we run out of sun. Goodbye, Martha, I say before we drive away. She says, Bye, Max. I had a wonderful day. I don't know many kids that would ask me to play. Let's be friends, I say as her car pulls away. On the school bus the next day, I sit with my friend. I tell him about the fun I had on the weekend. A few stops later, I see Martha get on board. She tries to talk to someone, but just get ignored. She takes a seat alone and looks down at her feet. A boy calls her a bad name. I move over to her seat. Those boys are so rude, Martha. Are you okay? I ask. I hear another boy say, She should be wearing a mask. She isn't pretty, Max. Why are you talking to her? I say, you are a bully. I'm being kind. Unlike you were, Martha is my friend. She is interesting and cool. The way you are treating her is awfully cruel. In my room later that night, I hear someone knock. My parents are at the door and they want to talk. Martha's parents just called, my dad says to me. They are very proud of you, Max, and so are we. They said, on the bus today, you stood up to some boys. They were mean to Martha and making lots of noise. I say, I don't care how she looks. Martha is my friend. Those boys were unkind and I just wanted it to end. My mom hugs me and says, Max, I am so proud of you. 
Real friends support each other and have fun together, too. Martha wants you to come to her birthday party next weekend. How fun! Of course I will, I say. It's nice to have a new friend. Thank you, pioneers, for reading with us today to the book, I Have a Friend by Alex Harrison. I think it's important for children like Max to support their friends, even from bullies. The illustrations and storytelling really stood out to me to show how genuine and kind friendship can be, and I wish that everyone can live in this world with real friends. Alex and I have become friends, and I'm so proud to be sharing this book with you. To help support Alex, you can visit his website, alexharrison.com, that's A-L-E-K-S for Alex, to purchase a copy of this book or any of his other amazing children's books that are part of the Emotions and Feelings book for preschool series. You can also contact Alex and share your thoughts about his stories on his Facebook at Alex Harrison Writer and let him know I sent you. If you have a book you like to be read on this channel, please send me an email. Contact at readingpioneers.com so we can turn it into the next video just like Alex did. I also highly recommend subscribing and liking this video to stay updated with read alouds being uploaded every week, including more books by Alex Harrison. Unfortunately, this is it for today. While waiting for the next upload, you can check out the playlist over here on the left of other books by Alex that I hope you enjoy. Also, remember to check out his website when you get the chance. Thanks again, readers, for joining us today to this read aloud. And until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.